Hey, it's Kurt at the Top Corner Hockey Studios. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed your break over Christmas. The only bad news that came over it was the announcement from the Bauer family that Johnny Bauer, Hockey Hall of Fame goalie, had passed away at the age of 93. I was over at my in-law's place when this news came down. Of course, my father-in-law, he's actually an old goalie, played in the net for a long time, still plays old-timer hockey. He grew up watching guys like Johnny Bauer, and he actually... Uh, took the news kind of hard. He's uh, not a very emotional man, but you could see that uh, when I passed on the news that Johnny Bauer was dead, that, uh, that, that struck a chord with him for sure. As a big hockey fan, like you and me, we all know who Johnny Bauer is. We know that he's a four-time Stanley Cup champion, Hockey Hall of Famer, two-time Vesna winner, one of the best goalies of all time. He is remembered very well also for his tremendous personality. I've been lucky to meet a lot of NHLers, both past and present, uh, during my time covering hockey especially. I met Johnny Bauer a number of times. Uh, I've interviewed him. And Johnny Bauer was always so nice. Uh, in person and over the phone, Johnny Bauer had a, a great time talking with people. He enjoyed talking about hockey. He always found it fun to watch hockey and be around hockey. He never got old for him. I remember one time talking to Johnny Bauer. Uh, he told me the story of, of after he was uh, retired. He retired at the age of 45 or just about, he was just before 45, he was 44. Just about to turn 45 he retired uh, from the Maple Leafs and uh, he was then a scout for Toronto and the goalies, uh, Mike Palmatier and I can't remember who the other guy was, uh, were both uh, out with the flu and so the Leafs, this was under the uh, Harold Ballard time, they signed Johnny Bauer as he was in his late 40s by now, or early 50s, and uh, they signed him to a one-day contract for one dollar. And I remember him telling me that story. He was laughing his head off. This is decades later he's telling me the story. I'd never heard it before. I thought it was one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my life, that uh, Harold Ballard, being the, uh, the penny pincher that he was, He's in need, in dire need of a goalie, and he signs uh, Hall of Famer Johnny Bauer to a one-day contract for one dollar. Uh, it just seemed very fitting. And, of course, Bauer was ready to go. He didn't have to play, but he was ready to go. Uh, he just enjoyed to play hockey so much. Johnny Bauer, uh, when he passed away the other day, just after Christmas, I know that uh, it made a lot of news, as it should. Uh, I actually asked Liam McGuire, who is uh, the unofficial hockey expert uh, all over the world. I asked him, because Bauer was 93 when he died, if uh, Bauer was the oldest surviving member, uh, former Stanley Cup champion. He said that he wasn't. He believes that Howie Meeker is the oldest surviving former Stanley Cup champion. But uh, there are fewer and fewer each year, and these legends of the game that everybody recognizes, both old and young, uh, are leaving the game. If anyone's been to the Air Canada Centre outside Toronto, Johnny Bauer's statue is there. I've been to it, I've visited it. It's really cool how lifelike uh, and how well done these bronze statues are. If you haven't been, I encourage you to go. It's really cool to see uh, uh, Johnny Bauer forever on Legends Row with the Maple Leafs. And to see the uh, well wishes from other NHL clubs. I remember seeing a tweet from the Montreal Canadiens about their passing on their condolences to the Toronto Maple Leafs and Johnny Bauer's family just out of respect for what Johnny Bauer had done for the NHL and the hockey community. Share your stories with me about Johnny Bauer, what you remember, if you ever met him. Uh, post in the comments below. It would be really interesting to read what other people have had and their experiences with Johnny Bauer. It's unfortunate that he's passed away, but he left so many good memories behind, mostly because of his kindness and generosity. Please continue to like and subscribe. I'm Kurt. This is Top Corner Hockey. Thanks for watching. See you next time.